Okay, yesterday there was a big disaster in the Niger Republic. Um, it got relatively very little attention. Um, the only way I know about it is because sometimes I check on the Wikipedia um, current affairs segment and then that gives you a link to news articles. This has been reported online on um, the BBC, Al Jazeera and a few other news sources, but it didn't get sort of headline news. Um, and I think that's partly because occurrences like this are all too common in developing countries. So this is what happened. A fuel tanker lorry has overturned, I'm reading from the BBC article here, has overturned and exploded near the airport in Niger's capital, Miami, killing at least 58 people, authorities say. Many of the victims had gathered to collect fuel after the vehicle overturned close to railway tracks as it tried to park. Another 37 people were injured in the explosion late on Sunday evening. President Mohamedou Isufu has travelled to visit some of the injured in hospital. The latest accident happened on the RN1 road that links the Diori Hamani International Airport to Miami. One eyewitness told Agents France Press, just before midnight I went out and I saw the truck overturned. People came from everywhere to take gas. Then I saw fire on its side and everything burst into flames. Interior Minister Mohamed Bazoum told the agency it appeared a spark from one of the motorcycles that had gathered at the scene may have caused the explosion. Fuel tanker explosions are fairly common in Niger's leading oil producing neighbour Nigeria. Um, and there's been a number of these major disasters often being triggered from an initial accident and then an, a subsequent explosion from people being reckless gathering at the site, um, whether lighting, a, you know, striking up a lighter, um, whether in this case, uh, you know, uh, someone's motorbike causing it. So I'm just going to go through a few of the other um, major incidents in recent years. Bahawalpur, Pakistan, 2017, 219 people died in that incident. Okobi, Nigeria, 121 killed in 2012. South Kivu in the Democratic Republic of Congo, 230 killed in 2010. Um, I particularly remember the Pakistan and South Kivu incidents. But these incidents, like I say, happen a lot in developing countries. There was also one in Ghana, I believe it was in either 2016 or 2017. Um, and it's always the same situation. There's an initial incident involving a fuel tanker then people come to collect fuel or gas. These are desperately poor people and, you know, desperate people do desperate things. But there's clearly a big lack of education in terms of uh, the safety issues that come from this sort of reckless behaviour. Um, and the result is always tragedy. So I, I don't know what could be done, maybe spreading awareness. But, you know, very often these are countries that are, I mean, Niger, you know, it's it's a desperately poor country. It's battling Islamist insurgency. Um, so probably there isn't enough money to go into the education sector. I don't know. But this sort of thing just happens all too often. And uh, this is the result. You know, a uh, major disaster. Um, it's particularly common in Nigeria. But like I said, it happens in other countries as well. So I'll put a link to the BBC article. And um, if you're from the Niger Republic, let me know your thoughts. Um, or from any country that's experienced this. If you're from Pakistan and you've any thoughts on the Bahawalpur disaster, let me know your thoughts on that.